Hey guys, welcome back to Kevin is Jeep. I am Kev and today I wanted to share with you guys my top five tips to follow before you actually hit the road. If you guys don't know, I've been living in my Jeep for the last four months while traveling around the country, uh, meeting new people, volunteering and making money in as many new and interesting ways as I can. So far I've had a really good time doing it, I've learned a lot and I think overall I've been pretty successful with it. With the growing number of people who are interested in this kind of lifestyle, whether it be because they think it looks fun or they're looking for ways to save money or to minimize their possessions, ranging all the way to people who are moving into their vehicle because they have to. I wanna use my videos as a way to share the knowledge and experience that I've had so far while living on the road and hopefully be able to teach something to those of you who are brand new to it. So with that said guys, let's get into it. The first tip I have for you before you actually hit the road is to minimize your need for self-care. Now by self-care, I mean like hygiene, uh, taking showers, um, you know, like getting ready in the morning, washing and picking different clothes each day when you wake up. All these things that take up time and resources that can kind of slow you down and make living on the road a little bit more difficult. Now, if you're a guy and you're gonna be living in a vehicle, a big recommendation I have is to do what I did and shave your hair off. If you have big facial hair like I did, you might wanna shorten it down as well. Ever since I shaved it all off and trimmed the beard down, when I wake up in the morning, even if I don't go to take a shower, I look relatively clean and I definitely don't look like I just rolled out of bed. When it comes to clothes, guys, I recommend wearing a lot of the same similar kind of stuff so you don't have to make the choice of what to wear each day and so that if you're anything like me, you know, you can re-wear a pair of pants if you don't get them dirty, if they're not smelling, anything like that. You can do that with most of the kind of clothing that you wear if you're not too concerned with washing clothes after only one wear. I like to mostly wear black shirts and uh, just you know thin athletic shorts or pants so I'm never really wasting time choosing my clothes and I never really have a day where I'm like oh no I have to do laundry because there's that one thing that I want to wear and that's dirty because I'm pretty much wearing the same types of things every single day. The second tip I have for you guys is to practice having a light and repetitive diet before you actually move into your vehicle. Now something that I did months before I hit the road was a three month transformation diet and fitness plan that pretty much for 90 days had me eating consistent meals throughout the day. I was eating like seven or eight meals that were light, plain, and repetitive. I was eating like chicken and rice, steak and sweet potatoes or broccoli, fish and rice. It got me really accustomed to looking at food more as fuel than as like a treat or a reward. During those three months, I got used to feeling a little bit hungry to the point where I didn't feel hungry anymore even though I wasn't eating nearly as much as I was used to eating. The reason this is going to help you when you hit the road guys is because you're probably not going to be eating luxuriously while you're living on the road. You're going to want to be comfortable not always having great meals and you're going to want to not fear going hungry for a night or maybe two nights. If you can get used to and comfortable with eating light and sometimes skipping meals, that's something you'll have to worry about way less. Because when you are living on the road and you don't have like the comforts and securities of normal life, it's nice to reduce any of the worries or anxieties you might have about things like food. Number three, you need to practice sleeping in your vehicle. Now, if you're watching this video because you just got kicked out of your house or lost your apartment and you're moving into your car right away, obviously you're not gonna have time to practice, but I think this is still gonna be relevant to you anyway. But if you are considering moving into your vehicle or you have the date scheduled out, you know, a couple of weeks, couple of months, whatever it is, start practicing now. Sleep in your car tonight. For the first time that you do try sleeping in your car, don't worry too much about having like a nice setup, you know, do, don't right away get into like building a bed back there or anything like that. Just do what you would do naturally. You know, if you're sleeping in like a sedan or a smaller car, 
probably gonna be like sleeping across the, the back seat. If the back seat folds down, obviously you fold that down and give it a try for a night. You know, take notes or record a memo on your phone, whatever, with all of the little things that aren't ideal. What I did the first night, I brought a notebook with me and everything that didn't seem perfect, that seemed like it would end up being a big frustration, I would just write down a little note. For example, you know, I was laying back there and when I woke up in the morning, what I wanted right away was a light and I wanted a bottle of water. So I was like, okay, I wrote down, you know, I'm gonna want like a little, a strap or a little box or something that's gonna have the stuff that I want when I wake up easily accessible right next to where I'm sleeping so it's not you know I'm not digging around for stuff this is gonna make a world of difference for when you are actually starting to full-time live in your car because once you are living in your car it's gonna be a lot harder to make modifications or change things around so you want to do that all before you actually fully commit and get into your car if you still have the chance if you still have the time number four guys is to practice and get used to being alone now this will come easier to some than others but either way i think it's very important to look at being alone as like kind of a, a skill that you need to develop and master in order to truly thrive in this kind of lifestyle where you can find yourself spending one night two night three nights a week, uh, maybe even a month, depending on the kind of stuff you wanna do on the road, completely alone. Now, if this is gonna be brand new to you, you really wanna try it out and practice before committing to the lifestyle. The last thing you wanna happen is after leaving home and beginning to travel, you know, your hours away from home, hundreds of miles, whatever it is, you suddenly find yourself feeling extremely lonely and down and there's no one around to help you out that can get scary and you know you, you don't want to again you want to reduce as much as you can the things in your life that might kind of creep up on you and cause you to panic or feel any of those unnecessary negative kind of emotions the last one guys this is number five probably the most important thing for when you're living in your vehicle before you hit the road, make sure you do everything necessary to prepare your vehicle for this kind of travel. Even if you're not doing, you know, traveling around the country or doing big road trips, even if you plan to stay in one localized area, you need to make sure that you do everything you can for your car to keep it in the best running mechanical condition as you possibly can. You do not want to break down. You do not want to find yourself stranded in a strange place in the middle of the night. Of course, these things can happen, but you want to do everything you can before hitting the road to make sure that that does not happen. That might mean taking it to a mechanic and having them do a full look over. If you're more experienced on working with vehicles, then you know do a, a whole tune up yourself, look everything over, make sure the suspension is good, all that stuff to make sure that you're not gonna regret taking the time to do it when you find yourself alone somewhere you've never been before, stranded. And something that goes hand in hand with preparing your vehicle, guys, is to know your vehicle. This is something that my dad always instilled in me growing up because he taught me everything I know about working on cars and working on my Jeep. And knowing your vehicle can be the absolute difference between getting scared when anything happens with it and feeling confident and if your car does break down or makes a noise you've never heard, you're not worried about it because you know how things work, you know what you need to do to diagnose it, you know what you need to do to fix it, and if it's something you can't fix, you can quickly figure that out and get it towed to a shop if you have to. By knowing your vehicle, you reduce so many anxieties and worries that can otherwise turn life living in a car into a nightmare. Those are my top five tips that I suggest you take care of before you make the plunge and actually move into your car to live on the streets. If you follow those five, I think you'll be off to a great start. If you guys do have any other big things you think I missed that I should have mentioned, make sure to leave it in a comment below. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then make sure you hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. A huge shout out to my patrons who are currently supporting me over on Patreon. I am so very thankful to you guys. There is a link down below, anybody else who wants to go check out my Patreon and see what I'm doing on there. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you soon.